Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part one, directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. A. A man is typing on a keyboard. B. A man is pointing at a document. C. A man is drinking some water from a cup. D. A man is putting on his glasses. Statement B. A man is pointing at a document. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer B and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The man is turning off a lamp. B. The man is closing a drawer. C. The man is drawing the curtains. D. The man is looking in his suitcase. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A man is setting up a projector. B. A woman is raising her hand. C. Some people are facing the presenter. D. Some people are entering a meeting room. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. Customers are paying at the counter. B. Racks have been stocked with merchandise. C. Workers are organizing items on the shelves. D. Some fruits are being taken out of a shopping cart. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. Some trees are being planted along the river. B. Some people are walking toward the water. C. A gardener is mowing the grass. D. A ship is passing under the bridge. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. A man is pouring water into a bucket. B. Some tools are laid out on the floor. C. Some dishes are being washed in a sink. D. A man is installing handles on a cabinet. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. A rug has been rolled up in a corner. B. The room is unoccupied. C. A computer is positioned next to the window. D. The curtains have been left open. Go on to the next page. Part two, directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Who signed for the parcel? 
A. I sent it already. B. The assistant manager did. C. At the post office. Number 8. How's the conference you attended at the Yokovich Center? A. Across from the hotel. B. I enjoyed it a lot. C. By Russell Kim. Number 9. When will the construction of the company cafeteria be finished? A. On the 10th floor. B. Not until next month. C. Yes, try the new menu. Number 10. Has Mr. Crow visited the dentist this week yet? A. I brush my teeth twice daily. B. It's important to go regularly. C. Yes, his appointment was on Monday. Number 11. I found yesterday's seminar to be quite informative. A. It's tomorrow, not today. B. A training workshop. C. Yes, I learned a lot. Number 12. Why is David going to another company? A. I'm going to a staff meeting. B. They offered him a higher salary. C. At a job fair. Number 13. How do you usually get to work? A. I drive my car. B. Communication skills. C. We finish at 6. Number 14. What was discussed at today's board meeting? A. The board of directors was present. B. I've been out of the office all day. C. In the conference room next to reception. Number 15. When is your performance review meeting? A. No, that's not what he said. B. Not for another month. C. Approximately six months. Number 16. Would you mind switching work shifts with me this Friday? A. No, you can't exchange this item. B. I'm taking that day off. C. Today has been busy. Number 17. Where do you want me to put the new items that arrived today? A. In the display case by the entrance. B. In different sizes and colors. C. They should be here tomorrow. Number 18. Should I discuss the proposed merger at today's meeting or next week's? A. Competition has increased. B. With an accounting firm. C. Today's has been cancelled. Number 19. What does Ms. Patel think about our company's new logo? A. I didn't think so. B. I'm meeting with her tomorrow. C. I'll accompany you. Number 20. Which catering company did we hire for the president's birthday party? A. The one we used for the anniversary event. B. I think she's 50 years old. C. To work in the maintenance department. Number 21. 
Did it seem like there were more attendees this year than before? A. This was my first time participating in the conference. B. It's going to be held this Friday. C. I put them on your desk. Number 22. The marketing director will be leaving the company next month. A. Do you know who's replacing him? B. They'll be arriving here soon. C. A new advertising campaign. Number 23. Do you want to go directly to the head office or visit the factory first? A. I'm fine with either. B. There's room in my car. C. Yes, that's correct. Number 24. You're coming to the company sports day on Saturday, aren't you? A. Over a hundred people came. B. I'm working all weekend. C. A gym membership discount. Number 25. Why didn't you take any photos at the museum? A. Any time in the afternoon. B. A famous art gallery. C. It wasn't allowed. Number 26. Have they rearranged the furniture in here? A. It does look more spacious than before. B. They are made of wood. C. Next to the fridge. Number 27. Please put my purchase in a box and gift wrap it. A. I wrapped it myself. B. Sure, give me one minute. C. This is a discounted item. Number 28. How long will it take you to complete the financial report? A. I just received the data. B. Next year's budget. C. Sure, I'll bring it. Number 29. Wasn't the photocopier on the 10th floor just recently fixed? A. Colored photocopies, please. B. No, the meeting is on the 11th floor. C. Is it not working again? Number 30. When do I get reimbursed for my business expenses? A. A trip to Hong Kong last week. B. Have you submitted a report? C. About $500. Number 31. The internet connection is quite slow this morning, isn't it? A. Business was unexpectedly slow. B. I haven't noticed. C. That's the website. Part 3 Directions You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation Hello, this is Paula Jones in accounting. There seems to be a problem with my computer. The fan inside is making a loud noise and distracting me from my work. Hmm, I see. Why don't you try shutting off your computer and turning it on again? That was the first thing I did. Unfortunately, it didn't fix the problem. Okay, I'm free for about 30 minutes right now.
I'll come to your desk and have a look at it. Number 32. In which department does the man work? Number 33. What does the man suggest doing? Number 34. What does the man say he can do? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Good morning. I'm here to pick up my medicine. My doctor sent the prescription to this pharmacy yesterday. Could you check if the order is ready? My name is Beatrice Fallon. I'll take a look for you. Yes, we did receive the prescription, but unfortunately the order isn't ready yet. We've been extremely busy, so we're behind schedule. Would you mind waiting five minutes? I'll get it for you now. Sure. Actually, I have some things to buy at the store across the street. So I'll do that now and then come back here in 20 minutes. Number 35. What are the speakers discussing? Number 36. Why is the man behind schedule? Number 37. What does the woman say she will do? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Good afternoon. My name's Josh Brennan, and I'm calling from Downtown Appliances. As you're a valued customer, we wanted you to be the first to know about our special promotion this month. We're offering a 30% discount on all dishwashers. Well, my dishwasher is getting old, but it's still in good condition. I'll probably need to replace it sometime, but not right now. Okay. If you'd like me to, I could add your name to our email list. That way we can let you know about all our promotions as soon as they're announced. Number 38. Why is the man calling? Number 39. What type of products does the man's business sell? Number 40. What does the man offer to do for the woman? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hey Stan, do you remember the questionnaire our gym distributed two weeks ago? Yeah, it was to have members comment on their experience with us, right? How was the response? Well, most of them said they'd like to spend a little more time with their personal trainers. Currently, each training session is one hour long. Would it be possible to lengthen them by 10 minutes? That might cause conflicts with our schedules. We'll have to leave the decision up to senior management. Number 41. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 42. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 43. What does the man imply when he says, That might cause conflicts with our schedules. Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. 
Good morning, Carl. Jennifer and I just wanted to make sure you are settling into your position here at JCF Energy. We're so pleased that our first choice for the new engineering position was selected. That's right. And as long as we're here, I can teach you how to log your work hours, which you will have to report to accounting every two weeks. Can you spare some time to do it right now? Actually, I have a meeting in the lab in about five minutes to learn more about the first project I've been assigned to. Oh, it sounds like no one told you. Unfortunately, the lab is undergoing some urgent repairs, so it's closed for the day. Your meeting has been moved to tomorrow morning. Number 44. What field does Carl work in? Number 45. What does the woman want to go over with Carl? Number 46. Why has a meeting been moved? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Tim, we're going to leave soon to cater Salafran Dental Association's dinner banquet, but we're short on plates. Are there some in our storage room? No, I put in an order with our local vendor on Monday, but it still hasn't arrived. This isn't their first time, you know. Well, we have to deliver everything to Salafran's office by 5 pm, so what should we do? I don't have enough time to drop by a store. I'll take care of it. I can purchase some on my way to their office. Okay, that sounds good. Give me a call when you arrive so I can help you bring them inside. Number 47. Where do the speakers most likely work? Number 48. Why does the man say, This isn't their first time, you know? Number 49. What will the man probably do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hey Dahlia, the news just said that a big storm is headed here. The buses might not be running tomorrow, and I'm supposed to work in the morning. Yeah, I heard. If it's bad outside, it'll be hard for our workers to come in. I'll decide tomorrow morning whether to open the restaurant or not. All right. If you want me to help you contact everyone working tomorrow, let me know. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Number 50. What problem does the man mention? Number 51. What does the woman say she will decide tomorrow? Number 52. What does the man offer to do? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I have a subscription to your weekend newspaper, but I didn't get Saturdays and Sundays this past weekend. My address is 241 Creighton Meadows in Branton. I'll check your account. Oh, it seems your subscription expired last Friday, which explains why you had no weekend deliveries. Would you like me to renew your subscription for you? Yes, please. I used my credit card when I subscribe online last time. I'm sure you still have the information. Okay. Let me just go over the payment details with you to check that they're correct. Number 53. Why is the woman calling? Number 54. What does the man offer to do for the woman?
Number 55. What information does the man want to confirm? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hello. Last week I ordered a laptop from your online store, but I haven't received it yet. My name is Wanda Jones. Can you tell me what happened? Please give me a minute while I check our system. Okay. It says here that the driver tried to make the delivery, but he didn't have the correct address. I don't understand why no one tried to contact me then. Someone should have called me right away to check my address. Frankly, I'm quite disappointed. I'm really sorry about that. If I can confirm your address now, I'll arrange your delivery for tomorrow. Also, to make up for our mistake, I'll reimburse the shipping fee to your bank account. Number 56. Why is the woman calling? Number 57. What problem does the man mention? Number 58. What does the man offer to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Mr. Harper, I'm really sorry, but I don't think I can finish the website design I've been working on for Nonia Pharmaceuticals by the deadline. Oh, I was planning on showing the new website to the Nonia Pharmaceuticals representatives this Thursday. When do you think you can get it done by? Well, I'm still in the process of creating the color schemes and font styles. I know the deadline is 5 p.m. tomorrow, but I'm going to need at least three more days to get everything just right. Okay then. I'm going to call Nonia and reschedule the meeting to next week. Number 59. What most likely is the woman's job? Number 60. What problem does the woman mention? Number 61. What does the man say he will do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and information. Thanks for coming by, Mr. Moore. I've been reviewing your travel expenses incurred while away on business, but I found some issues with your report. Um, do I need to submit more documents to get paid back for the costs incurred during my business trip? No, it's just that the company no longer covers hotel room service costs. So I won't be reimbursed for that? I'm afraid not, but you will get money back for the rest of the items. Okay, it seems like I was not fully aware of the newly revised regulations. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Number 62. Who most likely is the woman? Number 63. What is the man's problem? Number 64. Look at the graphic. How much will Mr. Moore not get back? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. Hey John, I'm so happy to see you. I'm completely confused by this station. I'm trying to get to the airport, but I don't know which subway line to take. I was planning to take one of the express lines, but they're both temporarily closed for repairs. 
Let's look at the subway map over here. Hmm. I think you should take this route. The train stops at airport approach, but it's actually quicker than the other non express service. Thanks so much. I can't be late for my flight to Miami. Are you going for business or pleasure? For business. There is a convention there that I have to go to. I'll be giving a report about it at next month's staff meeting. I see. Hope the trip goes well. Number 65. Where does the conversation take place? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which line does the man suggest the woman take? Number 67. Why is the woman going to Miami? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and theater guide. Hi, Tom. What are you doing after work tonight? Well, I was thinking of watching a play. I've been browsing this theater guide to decide what I should watch. I don't think I'll make it in time for the village riot, which I heard got great reviews. Do you mind if I look too? Ah, actually, I watched Children of One recently. The actors did a great job, but the plot was a little dull. Thanks for letting me know. I suppose I'll check out the roof peddler then. How about you? What will you do tonight? I'll just stay home. I'll be at a convention both Saturday and Sunday, so I need to relax tonight. Number 68. What does the woman ask the man about? Number 69. Look at the graphic. What time will the man probably watch a play? Number 70. What is the woman doing on the weekend? Part 4 Directions You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Welcome to today's opening of our latest exhibit here at the Ingram Museum. This new exhibit brings together some very rare landscape drawings by some of the finest 17th century Dutch artists. Before you enter, I will hand out an audio player to everyone. The device will provide information about the artists and their drawings. When you're done looking around the exhibit, please stop by the video room at 2 o'clock. We'll be showing a 30 minute film about some of the artwork featured. Number 71. What is the purpose of the talk? Number 72. What will the speaker give to the listeners? Number 73. According to the speaker, what will begin at 2 o'clock? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following radio broadcast. This is Campton Radio 22 with your community's weekly news bulletin. This weekend, The Orleans Blues Quartet will be presenting several new jazz pieces. Anna Retham, the leader of the group, recently won the Armstrong Award for the Best Jazz Composer of the Year. Tickets are available on the Campton Theatre's website for both the Saturday and Sunday performances. We'll be back in a moment with the local traffic report right after a quick commercial break.
Number 74. What is the broadcast about? Number 75. According to the speaker, what did Anna Retham do recently? Number 76. What will listeners most likely hear next? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. As we discussed in our last team meeting, we will be making more use of video conferencing this year. All our meeting rooms have now been equipped with computers and web cameras. The IT department will be providing training on how to operate the equipment over the coming weeks. Our team's training is scheduled for next Thursday at 3 o'clock in meeting room 9. Please make a note of this on your calendars. I'm aware that some of you won't be able to make it, since you'll be at the advertising conference in Shanghai. But no need to worry, other sessions will be scheduled at a later date. Number 77. What is the speaker mainly discussing? Number 78. What does the speaker say will take place at the company next Thursday? Number 79. Why will some employees be unavailable next week? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Thank you all for attending our monthly staff meeting. First of all, make sure to check out the latest issue of City Life magazine. You'll be happy to see that the magazine selected us as the best fitness center in the area. But let's not forget that another new gym just opened up down the street. To stay ahead of the competition, we plan on ordering additional workout machines and also recruiting more personal trainers. The new machines should be available to our members at the beginning of next month. Number 80. What did City Life magazine recently do? Number 81. What does the speaker mean when she says, Another new gym just opened up down the street. Number 82. What does the speaker's company intend to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, Julia. It's Mark. Unfortunately, I still haven't heard back from the airline about my missing luggage with the prototype of our new potato peeler inside. Based on the conversations I've had with the airline employees, I don't think I'll get my luggage back before Wednesday's presentation. Without the prototype, there is really no point in making the presentation. So, the best solution would be for you to fly out here with another prototype. I realize it's a long trip, but I can't think of any other solution. Number 83. What is the man waiting for? Number 84. What is scheduled for Wednesday? Number 85. Why does the man say, I realize it's a long trip?
Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following advertisement. Do you find that you spend too much time managing your business's accounts? Then why not use AC Genie to manage your company's finances? AC Genie is the best selling accounting software on the market. Specifically designed for the needs of small and medium sized businesses, its automatic invoicing feature allows you to effortlessly monitor income and expenditure. Customized reports can be easily generated, and real time financial data is always available at the click of a mouse. Call 555 8261 and speak with one of our representatives to try out AC Genie today. Training and support are provided free to all customers. Number 86. Who is the advertisement intended for? Number 87. What is being described? Number 88. What are the listeners encouraged to do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following telephone message. Hi Tiffany, it's Gwyneth Kane calling about my scheduled talk at the workshop for your biologists. I have several subjects in mind for my lecture. But if you'd like me to discuss my latest study on muscle regeneration, which has attracted a lot of attention, the data will not be published for a while. Please call me back so that we can finalize the topic. By the way, in regard to the fee list on my website, since I've worked with your firm on many occasions, I won't charge you my standard speaking fee. Number 89 what has the speaker been asked to do? Number 90. What does the speaker mean when she says, The data will not be published for a while. Number 91. What does the speaker say is available on her website? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Before I close this meeting, I'd like to remind all floor managers that students from Dillard Technical School will be coming to our manufacturing plant tomorrow afternoon. The school wants their students to see the process of how goods are manufactured in a factory such as ours. Remember that the students and teachers may ask our workers to demonstrate how a machine works. So, when you go back to your production floor, be sure to inform the members of your team about this and address any concerns they might have about the visit. Number 92 what does the speaker remind the listeners about? Number 93. What may factory workers be asked to do tomorrow? Number 94. What do listeners need to do after the meeting? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and list. Good morning. I'm calling for Noel Wright. I just wanted to confirm the order you placed with us here at Red Office Supplies yesterday. It looks like you ordered an unusually large quantity of toner cartridges this time, and I wanted to make sure it wasn't an error. If it was a mistake, please let me know right away so that I can correct the order for you. Also, I'm going to be out of town on business for a week starting tomorrow. If you call tomorrow, please ask for Danica. She'll be taking care of my customers while I'm away. Number 95. Look at the graphic. Which quantity on the order list might be changed? Number 96. 
Number 96. What is the speaker planning to do tomorrow? Number 97. What does the speaker say about Danica? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following announcement and chart. The first item on today's agenda is the recent survey that we conducted regarding our plant's dining area. So, let's briefly go over the results. According to the graph, the most popular request was for the seating area to be expanded. Although we'd like to do this, we just don't have the budget for it right now. But we can definitely address the next most popular request. So we're going to begin work on that right away. And remember, all employees who participate in the survey will receive a complimentary bottle of juice every day for a week. Number 98. Where do the listeners most likely work? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which request will the company start working on? Number 100. What will the employees receive for completing the survey? This is the end of the listening test.